Welcome to NCA TV. My name is Luciana Almeida. I'm one of the reporters this year at the convention. And with me, I have Philip Glenn, who is one of our own t professors here at Emerson College. And he will be joining us in Chicago. How are you, Phil? I'm doing well. Well, great. Great to have you here. So is this your first time at NCA? No, it's probably my 20th or 25th or something like that. I've been going pretty steadily since uh, the mid-1980s. All right, great. And what are you looking for this year? What am I looking for? Um, you know, NCA is always a mix of activities for me. It's, it's the mother ship of communication scholars. There are thousands of people there. So it's uh, attending lots of panels. It's a fair number of individual meetings with people who are doing research like the research I'm doing. Uh, it's reconnecting with old friends. Um, so, you know, lot, lots of things keep me busy those days. I usually come home energized and tired all at the same time. All right, great. And what, what's your research you're doing? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, my research method is called conversation analysis, and it's in the division of NCA called the Language and Social Interaction Division. So these are people who study talk, discourse, ethnography, sociolinguistics. And within that domain, I have two or three lines of research I have kept up with for some years. One is laughter and laughter in everyday talk. Another is I have a quite keen interest in conflict and negotiation and mediation. So one of the things I'll be doing at NCA is attending a Sunday morning three-hour grant writing workshop where I'm beginning to work up a grant to try to seek some funding to do some uh, quite in-depth research on how people talk when they're arguing with each other. So that's a second. I, I also have interest in video analyses of job interviews. Um, so th I won't be presenting those papers at this conference, but I'll be networking with people doing similar work and looking for next opportunities coming up. Absolutely. Are you sitting in any panels, any discussions? I, I'm leading a panel we call a conversation analysis data session. And this has become a tradition at NCA. Uh, this is probably the 10th year that a group of us bring a, a recording and a transcript of just everyday talk. About 20 to 30 people gather in a room and analyze it. And it, it's um, a little like the calisthenics one does to stay in shape, right? That by studying talk, we all become more attuned to the nuances of talk, and uh, it, that helps us, you know, be sensitized in the work that we're doing. So I'm leading that panel, and uh, we'll be attending panels of leading scholars in language social interaction. I'm also somewhat active in the peace and conflict studies division of NCA, and go to some of those panels. I also try to read the book and, and attend just things that look interesting, but uh, as you may know if you've seen the book, there can be from 30 to 50 things going on at every hour, so yeah, there's you have to make choices, going on. Yeah, and exhaustion sets in at some point. <laughs> yes, and do you know when and where your panel is taking place? Yes, my panel is, oh boy, now you ask me, it's Saturday afternoon, mm -hmm. and then Sunday morning is my workshop, so those are my two formal events. All right. And do you think there are any hot topics that we'll be discussing around the convention this year? I do know of one. There, there's a town hall meeting and a vote coming up about whether NCA should pass a resolution condemning the use of torture. And I don't think the controversy is whether people are pro-torture. Nobody is. The controversy is whether NCA as an organization should be taking a political stand. I happen to be one of the per persons who signed the petition introducing this resolution. And I think both as citizens in the world and as communication scholars, we can come up with many reasons why we should publicly take a stand against use of torture. But the controversy is about that. Is that the kind of thing this organization should be involved in? Absolutely. Well, I look forward to seeing you and talking to you again in Chicago, maybe. All right. Thank you Good. very much for joining us. Thank you very much. We'll see you in Chicago in a couple of days.